Chapter six, counting to ten. When you're sad, it may help to count to ten. <laughs> Chapter seven. Mm, okay. <sighs> One. Travelers Convention. Oh my god. Uh, I found this flyer. Is this the right place? Oh my god! Oh my god. No one's ever kissed me like that. You're here! You're finally here! No one's ever kissed me at all. I've waited for you for so long. You did? And you came all this way. Well, I saw the flyer. <laughs> I'm guessing you aren't, Dr. Hammer. Oh, she's just our advisor. We put her name on the flyer to give her credit, but I'm the club president. My name is Julia. <gasps> wow! I'm Romy. It's an honor. Oh, <laughs> me too. You're everything I dreamed of. And I just knew you'd come. I needed you. You needed me? Yes, more than anything in the world. You and your time machine. My time machine? Is this it? In this silver suitcase? Oh, am I being too presumptuous? I realize that you hardly know me, but I am very responsible. I have a perfect driving record. Just ask my dad. Driving like as in cars. Do you still have cars in the future? Oh, I'm all flustered. I'm so glad you came. Sam, Greg! This is very sudden. Sam, Greg, get back here this minute! Who? My friends. They all need you just as much as I do. Is that so? Oh, you have no idea. What's going on? Who are you? Guys, we did it. After so long, we actually did it. I love you guys. Did what? Sam, Greg, this is Romy. He's from the future. What? No way. Tell them, Romy. I'm from the future. Oh my god. Wow. I expected someone with, you know, more silver on. And boots, space boots. More sci-fi, or at least steampunk. Is that how everyone dresses in the future? Sort of Matrix business casual? I can't believe it. Here, have some chips. Wait, don't touch those. I mean, it might create a paradox. Or something. How about cookies then? Would that create a paradox? Probably not. I don't know. It's okay. I don't want a chip. Good. Good. So, you're the Time Travelers Club? Just you? Just us. Am I the only one who came to your party? You're the only one brave enough. Weren't you worried about the grandfather paradox? I mean, like, you don't know who you might run into. What if you, like, run over one of your ancestors? He probably doesn't have a car. I don't have a car. But you're maybe a couple years older than me. Actually, younger, strictly chronologically speaking, but in physical years... Stop pestering him. He's tired. Are you tired? Well, it was a long journey. Really? Yeah, years. Light years. How did you do it? How? Was it a time machine? Or a wormhole? Or a DeLorean? Oh, Greg, everyone knows that was just a movie. Was it a DeLorean? I really couldn't tell you with the paradox and all. I wouldn't want to cause a cosmic mess. But take my word that it was pretty awesome. Yes. Oh. How did you get hold of it? Oh, was it your invention? Well, what was your trajectory? Die through the fourth dimension. Tell me how you did it. It's a topic of contention. Why did you invent it? Well, to come to your convention. Like Star Trek. Yes! How long was your trip here? It was quite a far trek. What's time travel feel like? Kinda like a car wreck. How does it work? Oh, uh, you know, it takes some bizarre technology. 
Photonic crystals, cosmic strings, it's really too complicated to explain to the average layperson. Are there spaceships? And space travel? And space mountain? Greg! <laughs> well, what's the point if there's no space mountain? I can't tell you. Paradoxes. Well, is time a loop, or a line, or a Mobius strip, time or what? Time can't be a line if he's here, Sam. Oh my god, uh. okay. If time travel is based on light speeds, time could be There's linear. There's no way that suitcase has the room for the kind of equipment a human being would need to survive travel. All I can really say is that I'm glad I'm here tonight. The journey was a long one, but the future's looking very in the future, you get what you need when you ask. And important words don't go unspoken. In the future, you can be happy. In the future. calories in sweet or fat of fried things. Can memories be erased? Yeah, brain computers override things. Do people get depressed? No, nobody is denied things. Nobody is lonely there, and no one has to hide things. All I can really say is that I'm glad I'm here tonight. The journey was a long one, but the future's looking very bright. You've come through time and maybe space, and, and I can see my future in your face. I should tell you, your being here means everything to me. I should tell you that I'll finally be the girl I want to be. You don't know yet how I've dreamt of this all year. And now, my God, you're finally here. I should tell you, can I tell? coming. You... you love me? Oh my god. I feel like Zeph from Cochrane in First Contact, except not a drunk old man. Julia, can I talk to you for a second? Wh what In... private? Oh! Okay, oh, okay. Rest, sit down, eat. Greg, share. I'll be right back. How she loves me how she loves me. Yeah, she's kind of intense, huh? I've read in books about those types of feelings. I've seen the movies, heard the poetry. I, I, I will always love you. My heart goes on, and how do I love thee? It's not the first time I have ever heard them spoken. But it's the first time someone said those words to me. Really? My father is a very quiet person. My mother left us back when I was three. We had a vague impression of the feeling. But not enough to feel like family. I know that people say those words to other people. But it's the first time someone said those words to me And up till now, I never understood But now I know And God, it feels so good To hear those words from someone so utterly enthralling 
how to argue or agree The words I say are not the ones I want to say The way I am is not the way I want to be So I have to find a way to say those words to her You'd think that inventing a time machine would get you all kinds of girls. Yeah, you'd think. If you and Julia get together, will you live in the future or the past? Can't we live in the now? Ha! <laughs> Don't say that to Julia, she'll get so mad. 